everyone, this is going to be a quick video that talks about how to use the speed grader in Canvas. I already had an assignment set up in my modules and students have already submitted their short answer question about Hinduism and Buddhism. I already had the directions here and then I already attached the rubric. Now to start grading, I'm going to click on the speed grader right here. Now you'll see below that it says that 21 out of my 35 assessments are already graded. So I'm going to click on speed grader. This will open up and it will pop open to one that I've already looked at. Now I can click on the names up here and scroll down to find who I want to grade in the list. Let's say we were going to go find someone that we haven't graded yet. So I went to Oscars. Now Oscars writing will be on the left and on the right I can click view rubric. Now that's not letting me see a whole bunch of it so I'm going to scroll this over so I can see both the rubric and his writing on the left. And then what I will do is I'm just going to click through these different parts here. So I can also, if I choose to, you can annotate over top. So I'm looking at his writing and he says that one similarity between the two religions was the concept of karma and the cycle of rebirth. So over here, I feel like that's a solid claim. And then I can decide where that lands. And let's say I decide that's mastery as he's listed two different things and two ideas he's going to argue. And then I'm looking for evidence in this SAQ. And so as I'm reading through his different ideas that he put in here, I've seen that he talks about moksha and the release from the cycle and enlightenment and for all those people that aren't uh, social studies teachers, this might not mean anything to you, but I see that he's done a really good job and he's put more than two pieces of evidence in this paragraph. So then I've scored that. I can scroll down and this will let me scroll and grade the other two. So let's just say that I did these and he did a great job. And so I go through and give him his score. I hit save. And what this now does is it shows his grade um, and how he did here. I probably would go through and do some more. And then what I can do is I can just go to the next student to grade theirs. Shows up again on the left. I can push to see the rubric right here. A few quick shortcuts as you're doing this. If I hit the letter J, it will advance to the next student automatically. And then if I hit the letter K, it goes backwards. You can also see in here that people decide to submit this differently. Those that submitted and it looks like this on the left means that they clicked on Google Drive and then uploaded their document this way, in which case it creates a snapshot when they upload it. We can see the other ways that they have showed it. See, we have more Google Drive ones here. Um, we see someone just added the link here. Now, if someone does this, it will open up directly into Google Drive and it will look like maybe something that you're more familiar with, depending on which way you want to view their work. Again, I could move this so I could see more. In this case, he uh, allows me to have editing or suggesting privileges so I could write his document. So there's different ways to submit the work and then you would go, definitely just go through the speed grader, add the new score, hit save, and then go to the next student as well. That's basically what the speed grader is. A few other tricks and tips along the way. If you wanted to not show all your sections, you can click up here and then just click which section you want to grade. In this case, I want to grade just my first hour section in the first section of AP World, and then I will have less names that are in here. When I'm done grading, I'll give a green check mark. If it's left to go, I will have that orange circle. And that's how the speed grader works. I can see along the way where I'm at at this. And I also often use the shortcut keys. If you're not sure what those are, you can click the wheel and it will show these basic shortcut keys, such as R will show the rubric automatically without having you click that button. J goes to the next student. K goes to the previous one. If I want to jump to the comment box, I just hit the letter C. And that's how this speed grader works. It will then put my scores in the grade book accordingly and it will align those different parts of the rubric to the learning mastery tab in the grade book as well. So hopefully this video helps you see how you can use the speed grader, how you can switch between the different sections of your class, how you can easily push R and use the different shortcuts to use the rubric, and then be able to move through your class to grade these things while attaching their grades to a specific standard that you are grading. If you have any questions, be sure to contact your tech coach for more information.